Do you like comedies? We've got some. Do you like dramas? We've got some. Do you like action? We've got it. It's time to have fun at the movies again. Lights, camera, action. It's time for expert opinions. One bag, two bag, four bags, five bags of popcorn. Your first stop before heading out to the movies is Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema. Hey guys, this is Greg Turkington from On Cinema at the Cinema, uh, which, we're, which is the show that we're watching right now. I'm a little stunned this week. Always happy to guest host uh, in Tim's absence, but in these circumstances, it's anything but happy. I don't know if you saw the, um, the news footage uh, over the weekend, but uh, there was a fire at the Victor Wolf Film Archive. Uh, you can see this is a serious fire. Uh, it was caused by Tim falling asleep uh, in his cot, smoking. Uh, the cigarette apparently fell down onto the blanket and that started the fire and he's in the hospital still he, he, he will survive but uh, he's got serious third and first degree burns that are going to take a lot of work before he's uh, going to be able to come back and review movies or do anything and so I've got Mark here that uh, Mark's been a good friend to this show for many many years and of course plays Abdul on Decker and has been helping me um, run this very important resource the Victorville Film Center which uh, we've been running here in Victorville for the past few weeks uh, screening popcorn classics and um, the, the archive is destroyed we had about a thousand films maybe 1100 that we had brought up here to the theater uh, in terms of using them for programming for our nightly screenings and so those are okay but that is just a fraction of what the Victorville Film Archive uh, used to be. We will rebuild and if anybody out there uh, has access to videotapes uh, that wants to donate them uh, at this point you know I don't think insurance is going to cover this this was Tim's fault so at this point I can't buy the tapes from you even at pennies on the dollar these would have to be donations um, the screenings will continue I'm proud to say that the night after this fire we still showed our movie for the people in the town that count on us and nothing is going to stop us from doing that all my clothes were burned on my Ant-Man memorabilia burned uh, the master tapes to some of the Decker versus Dracula stuff is burned a lot of the lost footage that you've never seen was burned the props Dracula's cape I had a postcard from a giant that James Dean had signed to me that was also burned um, very little survived the tapes that did survive are unplayable any tape that did survive it was sprayed with uh, water and foam. Um, Mark here uh, is going to be taking over a lot of responsibilities in the coming weeks. Uh, he's done a great job with the concession. I'm going to have, have Thank to you. have you help me uh, with a lot of other things, especially if Tim chooses to rehab here at the theater. I've been trying to get in touch with Ayaka. She's, I can't get hold of her. Um, I mean, I don't even know if she wants to hear from Tim. One of the most incredible film archives in North American history it is reduced to cinder, and uh, the Dakar master tapes are fine. So there is no justice in the world. Those are still at Axiom's uh, studio, so. Um, Hopefully we'll have updates on Tim's condition. It's not good. You're not going to be seeing him anymore this season. I don't know how Decker's going to continue. He's not going to look like the Decker that we know. Uh, he's going to need a lot of uh, facial reconstruction. I visited 
uh, Tim at Victorville General Hospital, and he's unrecognizable. His head is very swollen. His, uh, his face is very mangled. Uh, some of his hair literally melted to his head. Have you visited? Have you been? Have you seen Tim or no? There was a uh, episode of Mash once where uh, a, a guy was burned up, and uh, yeah, well, they they brought him back, totally fine. That's TV though. That's not real life. That's not movies. There's the yeah. Mash movie, huh. which Sally Kellerman, who also starred in Decker, uh, actually was oh, in the Mash nice movie. Nice. Yeah. What's she had some fun? interesting stories about What's working fun? with uh, Robert Altman, and no, because he was on the TV show. So, the movie's very different. Mm. Elliot Gould. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we do have a couple movies to review. Um, <coughs> Solace, uh, directed by Alfonso Poyart, <coughs> Anthony Hopkins, uh, Colin Farrell, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, a psychic works with the FBI in order to hunt down a, a serial killer. It's a good movie. It's, uh, again, one of these movies post-Decker. You feel like they've taken a little bit from what we're doing. Uh, this is an FBI agent. Decker, of course, is CIA. Uh, this, this FBI agent tries to stop the serial killer. Uh, Decker, of course, would have uh, fallen asleep and burned down FBI headquarters and uh, destroy all their records. Uh, but uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I was a little distracted watching it. Uh, but I would give it five bags of popcorn. And an entire fire truck full of uh, flame retardant foam. Did you see it, Mark? Uh, I saw the last half of it. And uh, I, I, I loved it. Why did, why, why did you miss the first half of it? Because uh, I got you that ticket. You did, but when I got here, uh, Aaron didn't show up for his shift, so I had to cover the first half of the last half of his shift, which means I missed the first half of the movie. How many bags of popcorn would you give it? Five. The Light Between Oceans, uh, directed by Derek Jean France. Uh, starring Michael Fassbender, Alicia Vikander, Rachel, Rachel Weiss, a lighthouse keeper, and his wife living off the coast of Western Australia raise a baby they rescue from an adrift rowboat. Well, uh, it reminds me of uh, Tim and Ayaka's baby, but it wasn't adrift on a rowboat. It was adrift on uh, bad medicine and anti-vaccination uh, ideas that Dr. San had, and, and no one was rescuing that baby. It's bad news. Um, five bags of popcorn and five tickets to the rehab clinic. Did you see it? All right, now we're going to see a segment called On Cinema On Location, filmed right here in Victorville. This is a very popular segment where we look at some of the cinematic history that's taken place here in our town. Roll the tape. Victorville, California. Every street has a story, and these are but just a few on On Cinema On Location. Hey guys, I'm here in Victorville, California, once again, home of the Victorville Film Archive, and we're outside the Rock Formation Mountain, seen in the 1953 all-time classic sci-fi epic, It Came From Outer Space. If you've seen the movie, you know that the flying saucers fly over these rocks, causing a landslide which threatens the fictional town depicted in the movie. Visit Victorville, California and the Victorville Film Archives. Support your local film archive. Okay, that was uh, our latest segment. And now we're gonna do a couple popcorn classics if we have time. These are movies we're showing here this week. If anyone can get down here 
um, and wants to see these, mention this episode. We'll give you uh, a free small popcorn with admission. Remember that. Um, this is Holiday Heart. Uh, we're going to be screening this on Friday night, 7 o'clock. It's based on a play called The Holiday Heart, and they filmed it, essentially a filmed play uh, with a little bit more Hollywood razzmatazz. So it's, they didn't actually film it on a stage, but it, it was filmed in a studio, and it's quite good. Um, and then Saturday, oh, be careful. Saturday we've got The Wood, um, again, 7 o'clock, $5.00. Uh, Tay Diggs and Omar Epps, Richard T. Jones, Sean Nelson. Unforgettable tale of laughs. And um, come on out. And I'll keep you posted uh, as far as Tim's health. I'll keep you updated. Uh, it's not looking good. Um, I don't know how we're going to be able to continue this, this show or this theater. I could do. I could step in each week. And do what? All right. Well, thanks, Mark. Maybe mm -hmm. next time we do some WC Fields. It's just not really the time or the place for that this time. So I I'm sorry. I we couldn't get to Golden Age comedies. It's funny. All this time I've been asking Tim, let's put the Golden Age comedies back. Mark's been very loyal to the show, and that's his segment. And um, and Tim said no. And then here is my chance where I could. To put anything I want in the show. I, mean, I just don't feel like uh, Golden Age comedies would be appropriate. So It's a paradox. I'll see you guys next week. Well, you gotta get the popcorn fired yeah. up. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.